Hello, what is up everybody? Welcome to another build video for the Division. Now, in this build video I'm going to bring you my Strikers build, which uh, I believe can become a contender for the 1.5 meta, uh, if used correctly and uh, if you can hit all your bullets, uh, you can outperform the FAMAS Alpha Bridge build and you can, you can absolute tear through anything in your path if you use this correctly. Now, let's just get into the build straight away, and I will demonstrate it on a test of me. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have time to get the footage uh, from the Dark Zone or anything like that for you guys today, but I will have to make do with this. And um, I hope that I do show you how effective this build can be if you hit your bullets right. Now, first of all, I'm using a M4 and a Medved. Uh, the Medved drops from Clear Sky on Challenging or Heroic from the boss. Um, I actually just managed to get it yesterday from trying god knows how many times but any any shotgun will work uh, I recommend using an SASG or Marine Super 90 just because of the higher fire rate it helps you get that bonus up quicker um, and the reason I'm using M4 is well it's an M4 it's also an assault rifle which pairs really well with the strikers three piece which uh, gives you even more enemy armor damage now let's get onto the armor. I'm mostly using four pieces of striker. I'm using the chest piece, backpack, holster, and knee pads. Mm -hmm. All of them have armor, and try to get enemy armor damage wherever I can. That's basically what you want to go for. And uh, for my stamina firearms thing, I'm using three stamina. Uh, no, three firearms, two stamina. You can go for 3 stamina, 2 firearms if you are not comfortable with having slightly lower toughness. As you see there I've got 350k but that's enough for me. Uh, I'm also using Savage Gloves and I'm using Pharaoh's Oxygen Mask. If you do not have this mask then I recommend using something like Refreshed or I don't know, Tenacious, something like that. It'll work well. Um, anyway, let's uh, show off this build shall I? Uh, wait, yes, yeah, I'll show it off first. Uh, what I recommend doing is using your shotgun to build up your bonus because each shot you get 8% because it counts per pellet and not per round. And then, it, as you see here, I'm doing 38k for the body and 85k, 114k crits to the head. And the crit hit chance on this build is actually quite high. Um, because of Savage and having crit chance on my mask and um, just having a quite a high crit chance. I can actually show you some of my stats right now. Uh, if you go to... yes, here. I've got 15% base crit chance. That doesn't in take into account Savage, so that's an extra 7% on top of that. That is 23% chance, so roughly 1 in 4 bullets are hitting a crit, so that's very good. Uh, crit hit damage is uh, damage isn't the highest, but it works. Um, also, uh, what else will I show you? Survivability. My toughness is that. Uh, my health, I've got one uh, 162k base health with 53.70 mitigation, which is quite high for 1.5. I believe uh, most people are finding it hard to get past 53. Um, I think the highest you can get is around 55, uh, so I am slowly working towards that. I've also got 8% uh, protection from elites, I didn't actually know I had that, I think that's on my chest piece. Uh, but, uh, let's get, uh, oh in fact, I will show you how Pharaoh's oxygen mask works first. As you see here, throw it sitting there, I can still shit, sit there and shoot, so if someone tries to hit you with an incendiary or a flame turret, you can just shoot the turret down or shoot them down. Works really well in the dark zone. But you do have to still keep in mind you are going to still take damage from the incendiary or still take damage from the turret because it does not mitigate that. It um, just enables you to be able to shoot whilst you are on fire. Now let's go into my abilities. I'm using Pulse so I can uh, crit even more, that gives me an extra 13% crit chance, so that brings me up to 23 plus 13 is 36% 36 crit chance, 
and uh, an extra 70 p 17, nearly 18% crit damage. Very, very good amounts. Very happy with it. Uh, I do use overheal because, well, I don't have the highest skill power. Uh, but if you are comfortable using it, I advise using booster shot because you'll get even more damage, even more survivability in the way of toughness. So that's always good. Uh, for your uh, signature, you can run anything you really want. Uh, each one has their pros and cons. Uh, survivor link, if you want to tank and get that bonus up, you can do really well with this. But if you want to go for the more of the glass cannon and shred through everything, especially PvE content, then go for Tactical Link uh, because it's insane with this build. And uh, obviously if you're running solo or if you're running in uh, a group that needs a healer, then you can obviously use that. For talents, uh, these aren't the most important, but these do help. Uh, critical Save, you want to just run that on every single build you have, regardless of what it is. Yeah, I wish I would stop getting spammed, Jesus. Um, precision, that's just good for when your pulse isn't off, but you can still get the base pulse amount on people uh, that you headshot. On the move, it's good because, you know, 30% less damage is always good. And uh, one is none is also very good because it increases your DPS by an insane amount because you uh, basically... I say I, I wouldn't say you double your magazine because realistically that's not what it does, but it it w enables you to keep hitting headshots for a, a longer time, which is obviously a good thing. Uh, one more thing that I did actually forget to show you guys is the enemy armor damage in that. There you go, fifty-seven point five percent enemy armor damage. Roughly, that's about about twenty percent extra damage to players or 20% less armor to players I'm not too sure how that mechanic works but it's pretty good it works really well uh, again in PvP and as I also already said uh, you can hit 700 uh, no 670 K DPS with this particular build it would be a little bit lower if you went more into stamina which I guess most people will uh, are accustomed to. Uh, I've adjusted to having lower stamina, being more of a glass cannon. That is my playstyle. But I know a lot of people like to hit that 400k toughness mark uh, in 1.5, and you can easily do that with this build and still outperform that Alpha Bridge Famas really easily as long as you hit your shots. Uh, you're getting 1% extra damage per bullet. So by the time you've hit 15 bu bullets, you're you're on par with a FAMAS uh, Alpha Bridge build and you also have a secondary that is a shotgun that deals insane amounts of damage with the bonus active. Now, that's all for this build video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope this build helps you out and I hope you guys also try it out because it's a very good build and it absolute shreds through all content in this game and uh, yeah, <laughs> you'll, you'll find it fun, trust me. So, if you guys have enjoyed, please leave that like and if you want to see more build videos there will be more to come so subscribe and um, that's all from me today see you guys in the next one